carrying on on uh, partial differentiation let's uh, look at another example let's say example z x y equals to e to the power of x squared y plus um, 2 x plus um, 3 y plus 4 now this compute uh, computing the partial derivative respect to x now what I want to remind you here and show uh, make sure that you understand very well notice that we've got an exponential function here a linear function with respect to x a linear function with respect to y a constant so the, the the rules of differentiation respect to power rule respect to the exponential type of functions still all apply so they must be observed so in this case the partial derivative of z with respect to x will be coming here this is a function of x but then y they will be looked at as a constant as a coefficient of x squared a constant so the exponential function will come back in the derivative exactly as it is multiplied by the derivative of the argument in this case the argument is a function of x in this case x squared which will be 2xy then plus 2 as a derivative of 2x plus 0 as a derivative of 3y because y is a constant in this case plus 0 for 4 simplifying that we get that as 2xy e to the power x squared y plus 2 then the other derivative delta z the other partial derivative with respect to y delta z delta y will basically we will basically apply the same rules for the exponential function and for the rest of the functions so in this case now x squared in the function here, x squared is a constant y is a variable so x squared is just a coefficient of the variable y so delta z delta y will give us x squared is a coefficient of y the derivative argument multiplied by e to the power x squared y plus 2 I hope you understand now that I got 0 from 2x and 0 from 4 simplifying okay that is that let's, now let's look at the the, the, the mixed the derivatives in the, in the two orders we do them they say delta z squared yeah, delta x delta y so in this case here I'm differentiating the partial derivative of z respect to y respect to x in this case I'm differentiating 2 sorry x squared e to the power x squared y plus 2 now if we're going to differentiate this as a function of x you will see that again here we've got another rule of differentiating which we need to apply here this function is a product of two functions of x so the product rule there again must be observed that is what is good about this example you must remember that you all the rules of ordinary differentiation will apply here as long as the situation requires that so this will be equals to the derivative of this function which will be 2x multiplied by the derivative of the special function without differentiating plus now the x squared multiplied by the derivative of the exponential function which will basically be the exponential function itself multiplied by the derivative of its argument in this case which is going to be 2xy plus 0 for the constant 2 then simplify we're going to get this as 2x e to the power of x squared y plus simply removing the brackets here 
x becomes power 3 to x power 3 y e to the power x squared y and that is the, 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 the mixed derivative let's take um, the other the other mixed derivative which will be delta 2z delta y delta x so in this case we are differentiating respect to y partially the derivative of z respect to x in this case we are taking the first one here we are taking this first derivative here with respect to, to x so that would be 2xy e x squared y plus 2 again here we are going to apply the, the product rule so if you apply the product the product rule here because we've got this is the for function of y here and the function the exponential function of y so that will be differentiating this first linear function here would have 2x e x squared y plus now differentiating the exponential function we've got 2xy then the, the derivative of the exponential function will be the exponential function itself e, e x squared y multiplied by the derivative argument with respect to y which will be x squared that will be the derivative of argument simplifying again you will see the, uh, plus 0 for 2 and then simplifying we get this is 2 x e to the power x squared y plus 2x cubed y e to the power x squared y y now as you can see these two derivatives are equal in this case we are having delta 2z delta y delta x identically equal to delta delta 2z delta x delta y this is what I mentioned at the beginning that this occurs sometimes for nice functions. Basically, in mathematics, sometimes we use the word nice function referring to functions which, have, which are continuous and then their derivatives are continuous functions. In this case, the function given here, you can see, is a continuous function and the, all the derivatives of that function are continuous. So it's a nice function and that results in the mixed derivatives being exactly equal so I hope you understand this and that you, are, you can practice it so that you prepare for your basically first chapter for your course in engineering mathematics 4 now I'm going to give you extra examples here to to practice um, let's say you've got here z of x y which is x squared y plus y cubed x plus um, sine x squared y cubed plus x squared plus y cubed next z x y equals to e xy plus sine y sine x squared z equal z xy equals to x plus y x squared plus y cubed plus 3 
sorry, those examples they cannot be seen. I've made a mistake written written over. That let me get a fresh page and then I'll try that again. I was saying Z X comma Y equals to X squared Y plus Y cubed X plus sine of x squared y cubed let's put that in brackets there as an argument of sine plus x squared plus y cubed nicely we have z of x y equals to e x y plus y sine x squared and lastly what is it x y equals to x plus y x squared plus y cubed plus 3 as you do these examples you must try to notice what I said about the parts of the functions which depends on one variable, you are solving one variable that they crash to zero when you are not differentiating with respect to, their, to them. Then what is important about this, let's say you are in the situation of a complex variable, let's say z, which is equal to x plus j y. Now, if let's say we did a function of z which is equals to 3, z squared minus, minus uh, z as a function of variable. Now, if we take z in its form as x plus jy, you would basically say 3 x plus jy squared minus x plus jy then you will see that when you expand this you will basically get something like x squared minus y squared plus 2xy minus x minus j y and removing brackets here and uh, sorry there's a j left here removing the brackets in this situation and the grouping like terms you will see that we will get um, 3x squared minus 3y squared minus x plus j 2xy minus y. As you can see, we have now managed to, to write a function of z complex variable in these two parts, the imaginary, the real part and the imaginary part. And the both of these, I'm going to call them now u, x, y, and v x y and there are functions of two variables and now which means if we to deal with them um, their differentiation basically which means that we basically need to know partial differentiation and this is the reason why i'm trying to recap with you partial differentiation so that later you could basically hang see uh, this situation involving functions of two variables. I think up to this stage I've recapped enough on um, partial differentiation which is useful for our course and I hope you are going to this is going to help. Good luck. I'll stop there.